Hello everyone, welcome and thank you again for joining my YouTube channel. Of course, it's a pleasure to always have you around. My name is Ulu Adini and in this video, I want to explain the two approaches that you will always find and um, apply when it comes to literature review. Uh, the number one approach that I will explain in this video is the author-centric approach and the second approach that I will explain is the concept-centric approach. Again, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Twitter handle where I always uh, discuss or mention or tweet about research-related content. Okay, so let's get down to the real business of this video. Literature review in my previous video, the way I describe it is that um, you are basically writing a new story from old information. And in the process of writing a new story from old information, there must be chronology, there must be logic, there must be structure, there must be flow. All of this story must be written in an academically acceptable format. And so, one of the things you will always find in literature review is that authors structure it in such a way that it follows a certain concept. So, the two concepts that I've previously mentioned, that is the author-centric approach and the concept-centric approach, are uh, arguably speaking the two approaches that are very popular uh, in literature review. So what is the author-centric approach? Now the author-centric approach in literature review is basically you summarizing one article after the other. So it is essentially just a summary of one article uh, after the other. And what does that mean? It, it means that you will read the article, of course, uh, with the number one responsibility of making sure that you understand the content of what the author is saying. Then you summarize. Now, the author-centric approach is, for example, easy, so to say, is not time-consuming, is um, not an avenue. It doesn't give you the opportunity to engage with information, to engage with the draft that has been written by the authors. So why is the author-centric popular? Well, it is popular because you might consider it to be an easy way out when it comes to literature review. Now, unlike the concept-centric approach where you have to integrate different concepts, different ideas together to make up a story, the concept-centric approach, number one, is time-consuming it allows you to critically engage with literature. Of course, the concept-centric approach also gives you an opportunity to see how different school of thought, different argument can be connected together and make into a wholesome story. Now, the concept-centric approach and the author-centric approach, they are, technically speaking, accepted in literature review. But the, the problem is, how do you ensure that your story comes out in a logical sequence? How do you guarantee that there is a flow, there is a sequence, there is a, a, a logic to what you have written? And that is one of the things that has become the shortfall or the limitation of the author-centric approach. The author-centric approach is very easy. It is something you can easily do or conduct, you know, within a very short time frame. But the question now is, in summarizing the articles, one after the other, how do you connect your story? How do you ensure that what you have written makes academic sense? Because, for example, there are no two articles that have got the same title. There are no two articles that have got the same objectives. And there are no two articles that have got the same uh, results and discussion. So how do you cherry pick the information within an article that you are summarizing and making sure that the next article that you summarize follow the same logical sequence? And that's why the author-centric approach can be very tricky. You need to be in charge of your writing for you to successfully navigate around the author-centric. Yes, it is easy because you're basically summarizing the articles. But if you don't know what to summarize in the article, then it becomes a problem. If you don't know the information that is relevant in the article, that is related to your research topic, it, is, it becomes a problem. So even when you summarize, you have to be very sure 
that what you are summarizing is contextually relevant to the topic that you are trying to address. So the author-centric approach, in as much as it allows you to quickly, you know, comb through literature and summarize literature, it also um, serves as a very tricky um, task if you don't know how to navigate your way around it. Now, the concept-centric approach can be very time-consuming. Time-consuming because you want to pick the concepts from one author and see how it connects to the concept of another author. In other words, you're trying to look at the specific common denominators across all the articles. You're looking at the different denominators across all the articles, and you are bringing all your stories together to make a wholesome picture. So the concept-centric approach can be very time-consuming. Sometimes you might find yourself reading an article three, four times for you to be able to come out with the appropriate concept for you to be able to write your story. And I must point out here that even though we are calling it the concept-centric approach, it is essentially your ability to see what is unique about the article that you want to bring out. What is so symbolic about the articles that you are consulting that you want to bring out and make it the focus area. Again, it must be contextually relevant to your topic. You are not going to be doing either the author-centric approach or the concept-centric approach outside of your research topic outside of your objectives, outside of your research questions. So, in as much as these two approaches are very popular, one could be more preferable than the other, it is still not a pass for you not to engage in critical thinking in coming up with either the author-centric or the concept-centric. Again, I will always encourage you, put down your comments, feel free to engage with me, ask questions on this um, video or the issue that I've tried to address in this video. Remember, literature review can be very easy. Literature review can be very interesting. You are simply reading what other previous studies have done and you are coming up with your own narrative. The approach you take, it's up to you, but you make sure that whatever you are doing, it is academically acceptable, there's a flow, there's a logic, there's a sequence, and you obey all the rules and regulations of academic writing. I will see you in subsequent videos. Um, thank you so very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on my Twitter handle. Thank you, and see you soon.